CQ, CQ. This is W9GFO. Is anybody out there? Don't you know people need to see what I've seen? They need to see. This is the way it's been done for billions of years. Small moves are. Sorry about the noise from the mic. I think it's time to get serious about some chicken meat. Yep, I haven't done Hot Topic or anything useful. So, well, I'll use my stone sword. I forgot I have a stone sword. I was really hoping that creeper would blow up more stuff, but it's okay. I'm gonna have to lure some more chickens back over this way too, so I can start a real genuine bone five cheeky farm. Whoopsie. Is that an egg? Yep. Yeah, it's not like we're going to run out of chickens in the next five minutes. Look at all the eggs! Wow. So by playing Minecraft, a person learns that indeed chickens do not come out of cellophane in a grocery store. They actually live out here in the world somehow, somewhere. And... There was a time when chickens were wild. They don't look much at all like any... You say the word chicken, you think of something very different than what chickens look like now. I mean, than what chickens look like back in time. See, human beings got a hold of chickens. And they saw things about chickens that they liked. And so they encouraged it. There was two chickens that had the same thing. Like, okay, like a lot more meat on them. Because we like to eat them, right? Um, they would take the plumpest looking chickens, the ones with the most meat on them, and they would breed them together, and the babies would usually have more meat than other wild chickens. And they did the same thing with feathers, like, some chickens are real fuzzy and cute, and some are real tiny, and some look real exotic, and some like to fight, and some have white meat because they think people won't buy or eat a chicken with dark meat even though that's natural for chickens to have dark meat Oops. so people like pale meat um that sort of thing so um chickens have changed because human beings decided to go around with them it's true that is not natural selection that's domestication where we decided we wanted something the way we wanted it and so we just kind of played around with it until we got it the way we liked it humans are really good at that unfortunately we're a little too good at it and we made some mistakes in how the world should be just so that it would be more convenient for us you know what I mean so that's why stuff like pollution and stuff, because we want things the way we want them, and we're pretty stubborn and kind of arrogant, not kind of, real arrogant about that. We want things the way we want them, the heck with what's best for everybody, you know, including the other things that live here on this planet with us. If you guys ever see, did I get any saplings? I don't have many, but I have enough to start. Um... If you guys ever see any cows, give me a holler, because, I don't know. Okay, I'm going back in the hole. It should be right here. It is. All right, because, look at all the things. So, it's a good setting up stuff place. Oh, I should show these eggs. Add a chicken. Oh, that's not eggs. That's cold, you silly. I have, well, that didn't work. I have enough stuff to make a furnace, but you know I'm going to need more than one. Why did that happen? Oh, because I didn't... What am I doing? I didn't make furnace. Hello. Well, I thought about making a furnace, so in my mind, that meant I made a furnace. I don't know. Human brain, who knows? Okay, there's eight chickies. 
And I'm gonna get started with this. It seems to me, if I remember right, that there's some decent iron in this little pocket. But I can't wait to go down that ravine. There's two holes in the water that look interesting, huh? I always look around, you know, because there might be other stuff. Now, can I make another? Yes, I can. Sorry, I'm singing. Okay. Fernie, 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 Fernie. No. There. Is there more iron over here? Yeah. Okay. Told you I've been here before. Mostly I die, but sometimes I do little experiments and stuff with new snapshots and stuff to see what's going to happen when I actually have to play the game. Then I delete the world and Granny Gamer dies. and I mean, Granny Gamer 1 dies as a seed and then I come back. So I think kids really like this game because in the day-to-day -day world that they're in now, they don't get a whole lot of challenges like Minecraft gives them. They don't get to see how smart and strong they are. They don't get to um, um, be independent and explore things and figure out how things work all on their own. There is always somebody supposedly protecting them but I don't know if it's really protecting somebody if the person can't do things for themselves because you've um, provided so much stuff that they don't have to think for themselves and be inventive and creative I just don't I just don't know I mean when people are little bitty kids I can understand it <coughs> have you ever <coughs> Have you ever wondered why babies can't do very much, baby humans, but baby other things can do stuff? Well, part of it is the reason why we think animals with big heads are so cute. Um, our favorite animals at the zoo, well, a lot of us, are the ones with big heads in relationship to their bodies. And it's because they look like babies. Babies have very big heads. Now, do you know why that is? I mean, baby humans. Because compared to baby other animals, we can't do very much from when we first pop out. And that's because we have really big brains in relationship to our bodies. Really big brains. I mean, ridiculously big compared to, like, Oh, I don't know, like lizards and snakes and stuff. When a lizard or a snake is born, or some fish, um, they pretty much act at birth exactly the way they're going to act their whole lives. Even some ocean creatures are like that, like a lot of fish. A lot of animals don't ever know their parents. Uh, the parent just lays eggs and goes away, or sometimes even lays live young, like some frogs do and then just goes away and moves on or dies or whatever but a lot of animals don't know their parents so when they're born my dog just kicked me when they're born they have to be able to do things for themselves right away and they don't need to they have to not think about it it has to be automatic. It has to be instinct. They have to be able to do it right away. Just because that's the information that was modified into them as their species developed. So, like, little baby fishes and little baby lizards and stuff right away um, are attracted to heat to stay warm, are uh, know how to are attracted to movement so that they're interested in food. You're going to be a jerk, aren't you? Ooh, I hear skeletons. 
There's something down here. Where? It's close. There's a thing under here. So, a uh, little, so a lot of little baby animals just. Oh wait, you know what? I'm doing this wrong. Stomp on that. Ping, ping. Okay. Where? Oh no, I had sugar cane, but I guess it got lost in all the dying. Okay, well, yeah, there's boogers right down here. That's okay. We'll do the sugar cane when we get it. There's oh. There's usually more sugar cane, you know? I have a lot of seeds, which means I can make baby chickens, too, while I'm here. Yep, right behind me, there's skeletons. Okay, what? Err, I don't want to get involved in that guy. Alright, so... I'm thinking I'll plant pumpkins... Right here. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pumpkins? I haven't lost the pumpkins. Good. What was it? I was, oh, yeah. Villages of villages. I found pumpkins someplace and I was so happy. And then a creeper blew me up and that was the end of the, whoops, that was the end of the pumpkins. So that was sad. I'm going to have to get some skeletons so that I can have bone meal. Well, fortunately, there's a skeleton right there. Right? Ooh, there's a skeleton right there. Can I have flowers? Yes. I'm very fussy about my pumpkins. Have you noticed this about me? Yeah, I know. Okay, skeleton hunting. How am I doing for food? I ate lots of chicken. I'm good. But baby humans, we have huge brains, human beings do. And that means that even when we're born, we have to have a really big skull to hold all that head. I mean, to hold all that brain. Which means we're all wibbly and wobbly. Um, we can't even see well because the brain has to grow. Even though it has to grow, we've still got this huge head to contain it all. And there's a whole lot of stuff we can't do for ourselves when we're little. Because, um, whoa, so much of our the food that we eat and the air that we breathe and the energy that we use is about growing our little baby brains. Give me some more string, please. Well, don't get mad at me. i got to get string. Yes, I'm going to like having all these chickens here because, well, arrows. Which means, while well, I'm out here goofing around. I mean, even look at this, okay? It looks cute, right? Because its head is bigger than its body. Because chickens have chickens have little computers in their heads called uh, called brains, and they have to remember how to do stuff. I mean, they have to learn how to do stuff, complicated stuff. So, even when chickens are born, their little heads are pretty big, considering. Um, but chickens are a lot less complicated than we are, right? Looks to me like mobs can handle water better now in 1.7, 1.8.7. Cause look, they can swim better. Maybe faster too, I'm not sure. So that's why when people are babies, they can't do a whole lot of stuff. Because even as big as their, their heads can't be too big or they can't get born. There's just, it would be too big for them to come out and there wouldn't be enough room, right? So there has to be a little bit of a compromise. So instead, human babies are kind of wibbly-wobbly, can't do a whole lot of stuff at first. 
I mean, they catch up, obviously. Did you see that big shadow when I killed the spider? That was weird. I wonder what that's about. I think the shadows are just bigger. I haven't adjusted my OptiFine setting, so I'm not really sure what's going on with this, so... But it does look to me like the shadows are bigger. Waiting for my health to come back. Oh, you know what else I ought to do? Do I still have saplings? Yes, I do. Things are trying to kill me. And I'm in a hole. Oh, wow. I'll say. How's my health? Bad. Alright, get blocks on my bar. I did not see that at all. Do I have any coal? Yes. Okay. I think it's time for torches. I have seen this hole in another version of this game. Where are they? How's my health? Is it coming back? Yep. I'm almost there. Well, I'm coming back here because look at all that iron. Matter of fact, I might as well go down and get it, huh? Not like that, though. Because I'm going to need that iron. Yeah, let's do it. Nice cave. I wonder if I can make water go in this. So it's easier to get up and down without murdering myself. I think I could do that. I think I need a block. Mm-hmm. So survival is about, like, that's why we have parents and stuff, because if we were little and we just came right out and didn't have anybody to keep an eye on us and protect us and feed us and keep us from danger and teach us how to do things that we don't automatically know how to do, um, so that we can get caught up and get control over our bodies and then, that's nice. And then develop our, oh, wow. And then develop our minds. So we need somebody to caretake us. Now, sometimes that works out better than other times. Um, some people are better at caretaking little people than other people are. And you may not get the person that's the best for you to be around, you know? Um, you may accidentally get a parent that's just not really, doesn't really get it, doesn't really have a clue, right? But, because our species values babies, because the species wants to continue, because our species values babies, we make laws and stuff to make sure that Little people are protected. At least that's the way it's supposed to work. Sometimes it doesn't work out too well. In fact, a lot of times it doesn't work out too well. But we do try. Uh-oh. You know me. There's no dead ends. See, told you. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Daytime. Okay, I'm going to go back up to the surface because I've got that iron. Oh, I've got more iron now. Also, my pick's about to go. And I've only got a minute left in this video. So as soon as I remember how I got in here, not that way. It was this way. I fell in. And I have to climb out, I think. Whoops. So I think I should go back up and smelt, because obviously I'm going to need armor if I'm doing all this. Um, this is a way out without falling. I hear feet. Probably just a rabbit, but better paranoid than sorry. Nope, it's creepy. Make a hole. Make a hole. Ah. 
when I don't want them to die, they die. Oh, well. Oh, good. Zombie meat, because you never know. I mean, I'm going to eat the chickens, but you just never know. This early in the game, you just never know. So, ooh, do I have bones yet? Yes. Ooh, I have a bow. Yay. Well, I could probably grow up one pumpkin plant so I can start making jack-o'-lanterns. Which is the grown the tallest one. Looks like we've had an accident here. This is a tallish one. Oh, and I also need to plant my trees because I keep forgetting to do that. If I make a string of them heading down, maybe I won't forget where I put my garden. Just hoping, you know. There's my timer. Okay, back to game. I'll take it down in the basement. And then I'll log out. How's that? Yep, chickens are stomping. Well, we knew that would happen, didn't we? Okay, time to make some fences. Keep my stuff safe. Throw some junk in the furnace. And we'll call that the end of an episode. Iron, right? Oops, wait. Yep, I thought there was an extra one in there. Okay, I can start making armor. Whoa! Well, that was sure happy, wasn't it? Oh, and you know the first thing I need? Yep. Because there are... I don't know how many things I have now. How many things do I have? Yeah, I'll make that. All right. Eat the more chicken. And one, two, three. I don't know why I did that. I made a boo-boo. That's why. I have a hat. I have a hat. All right. I'll see you later. I'd hug you. But my arms don't bend. Bye. Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, or the dog dip it!